Oh, howdy guys, how's it going? So in a bit of a rush at the moment because it's gonna be dark before too long. I want you guys to be able to see uh, what we're gonna be working with today because I have something extremely unique. Uh, it's a one of a kind and I'm just really, really excited to uh, to give this a go. So this right here is a Bolator uh, backpack. It's like way more in the backpack. It can be a hammock, it's a tarp shelter, it's a storage sidewall, it can be a cooler, like it's just, uh, just a long list of a very multi-functional um, options that you have with this backpack. And it's not live quite yet. I know like it's live on Kickstarter, so I will make sure to put a link to the Bolator Kickstarter down in the, uh, the video description so you guys can check it out. But I got this and I'm just dying to uh, do an overnight or trying out the, uh, the hammock setup. But not even done a backyard test with, uh, with this bad boy yet. So, uh, you know, things could go great. Things could go awry. But I wanted to go ahead and get it down and get it opened up so we can figure out how to set it up and that uh, you guys can actually see what it is that I'm doing. So this thing does have a pretty spacious interior, but whenever I'm using a hammock and not using an under quilt, um, I like to use one of my rolling foam mats and not the Z fold um, foam or an inflatable pad because the inflatable ones they slip and slide everywhere, whereas one of these kind of contours to your body. Uh, but there wasn't any really like large enough attachment points on the exterior of this. Uh, so I just took a couple of my roll rollers, run them through the back side of the tarp, and I've got a reflective sided pad because it should be getting down to roughly 46 degrees tonight. Um, so we will be needing something underneath us. So now this is in no way a uh, dedicated review video or anything for this. Um, we won't be doing that until I've spent a uh, good bit more time with it. Um, and then that's when we'll go over type materials and everything. But very, very solid feeling bag before we open up the main compartment. We're going to go over here to the sides because I have got this far with it just at the house. And then this right here is our tarp and our hammock. Um, tonight there's no precipitation, so we're just going to be rocking with the open air hammock, be able to take look up at the stars and have a good time. So let me get that back back up so we can unroll this, and uh, then we'll have to get the straps out from inside the main bag and uh, get this thing strung up. So I was really happy. This feels like a very nice thick durable material and for this to double as a hammock it would have to be and this is eight uh, eight foot by eight foot if i remember correctly and all of these pouches and stuff that you're seeing is where you can actually take and uh, hang this as a sidewall to, uh, you know, like an awning, or uh, you could just take and string it up in camp and use all these pouches for storage organization, put your fishing rods in these uh, bottom holders. Um, looks like there's like a type of molly webbing up there. So plenty of options for storage on the back side, but this will be the bottom. Need to get our straps and now this thing i've got it in this pocket it come with some zipper lubricant because of where it's got this sealing uh zipper to keep water out or in it's a little stiff right out of the box but smooth nonetheless i just loosely packed uh everything that i just could grab and that i would think that i would need um as quickly as possible so there's still room in here but that's what the inside compartment looks like and then these are our hammock straps and fingers crossed this spot that we're at this is where we had our lay flat hammock where i've not had these out i'm they should they and they appear to be long enough so we'll get that figured out Mm -hmm. 
I am not mistaken. We're gonna go corner to corner, grab up these webbed handles here, throw that on there, and then we'll bring our strap and clip it on appropriate adjustment point. And due to the length of this, uh, it's probably gonna take me a second to figure out where exactly I'm gonna need this tension-wise. Going to be higher than that. And quite a few other things since then. Dog, I think that right there is about what we want. So yeah, these corner flaps will hang down. Uh, in the event that you really needed to, you could fold them over top of yourself uh, to get out of the rain and then throw a poncho over the lower corners to keep any water from coming in. Like I said, it's going to take and stretch out a bit where it's new, just like any straps or hammocks will. But you know, I mean, if you was just looking to carry this around for the cooler aspect, yeah, that's just that strap getting adjusted around that tree. And you just wanted a nice thing to throw up in between two vehicles or on the upper end of the beach. that the other thing I didn't think about right off the rip is that now that you got this tail down here it's actually not a bad place to set some uh, to set some gear so now the question is are we going to be able to put our sleeping pad in this car or in this hammock set up this is the only thing until like when you've had these mats like this rolled up for so long because I'm not using this one in a while. I mean, whatever the last video it is that y'all seen this will be the last time. Take a second to get the shape. But the thing that I love about this particular one, and this is, I mean, really one of the cheaper type of mats that you can find on the market, is aside from the reflective side that this thing has, the other side, the foam, is like a, I don't know, it almost kind of grips this synthetic these synthetic types of material so it doesn't slide around as much as like the inflatable pads and stuff do. already working out so much better than I thought it would for the very first time set up out in the field or mountains I should say so yeah so just laying in that once has already helped now for our sleeping bag I am very happy to finally get my hands on one of these snug pack jungle bags which as you can see is insanely packable uh, this thing is comfort rated down to 45, which is right near the limit of what we're going to be hitting tonight. So uh, I've got my bear skin fleece. We'll wear that. Um, you know, I don't even know if this is my... Okay, yeah, no, this is the bear skin 3.0 hoodie. So this is the improved fleece. So wearing this, uh, I have my electric hand warmers with me in the event I need to uh, 
add them to the equation but since we don't have a bug net over us if you're not familiar with the jungle bag aside from the 45 degree comfort rating it has a zip in uh, bug net around the face so you can completely close yourself in so we don't have to worry about any ticks spiders whatever getting to us even though most of them are going to be moving a lot slower considering what the temps are going to be tonight and i've actually been sleeping in this sleeping bag just in my bed the past couple of nights to try it out and you know gauge gauge the comfort of it and it's just like whatever this material is it is super nice like and considering how small this thing is i do believe that whenever i go anywhere especially if i know that any motel or hotel i'll be staying in is uh beyond the normal level of questionable for uh, hotels or motels i'm going to bring this with me just because i know where it's been and if he's ever staying at like a hostel or something you could fully enclose yourself you have the bug net and then the other nice thing about using this in the hammock it has a square foot box so it's got a mummy hood but a square foot box so it's a little bit easier to uh, move around and position yourself whenever you're in it and yeah just for the added weight and stuff they mean like another uh, canteen full of water i got some snacks and stuff in the bag here got two cans of food this is the battery bank um electric hand warmers all that good old stuff uh this is a poncho for if we need it for whatever reason then headlamp uh just a few little odds and ends in that front zipper pouch and uh, that's really everything It's actually not feeling as cool as I thought it would around this time. But I'm going to go ahead and get the bear skin on and we'll get our food going. Since the material of the sleeping bag will be what's against this, because this is Kadura fabric um, on this jacket, I will have it wadded up at the head end. I'll just make sure that the knife is covered with a couple layers of the jacket so it's not poking me. We will be needing a leather gloves. So what I'm going to be trying to uh, do to warmer meal brought my alcohol stove with me but something that i wanted to try so i've got two of these bcb um, solid fuel stoves and i plan on turning this one into um, an alcohol burner version anyways but before i did that i wanted to try the same concept as i do with like my fire tins which is where you just curl up cardboard and then uh, fill the container full of wax but in this case i just cut strips of some heavier gauge cardboard took slowly melted and filled this reservoir area right here um, with wax all the way to the top and since we are uh, lucky enough that there's no longer a breeze of any kind of blowing i want to see if the base of my can We'll sit on top of this and we get this lit, um, how well it will heat. It'll heat up our meal. Might take a slight bit of finagling because you kind of, this is the first time I've lit this since I fully coated it with wax. 
this slider might be about done but I mean I know with my fire tins I've used them a good bit and just for warming food they're more than enough they don't have the quickest like boil time See if that'll go when I go get the. So this is our main meal. I'm also got the um, beanie weenies, uh, but I'm gonna try to see if this will fit to where I can heat this in the can. I think it might just be right size, which will make life a lot easier. Okay, yeah, that's burning really well now. Now look, I know, in case you're new, it's not always good to heat food up in these cans. They, some of them can be lined with plastic, all that garbage, but I don't do it that often. Not nearly as often as I actually fix canned food out in the mountains or the woods. So I think I'll live. I gotta say, I like this uh, fire tin method. I don't know how long it'll last with that size of a, you know, essentially a cardboard wick deal, but um, I think we'll be good. All that black soot is mainly just coming from the wax in the cardboard, but that's not going to affect the contents of um, what we're fixing inside the can at all. Alrighty. We got bubbles of forming, so. Oh, yeah, we're nice and heated up. <sighs> One good blow, and she's out. Give that a good bit to cool down, but still a lot of cardboard. Not really sure. I think I actually kind of blew that just a little bit too hard because it looks like a bit of the wax. I might have blew a little bit of the liquid wax out. Now, it would be very nice and comfortable to sit back in my hammock and eat this. However,. I don't want to take a chance on spilling, <coughs> spilling? Uh, on spilling any of this down into the hammock itself. We're getting into uh, peak critter season territory. That right there is very nice. And I'm, I didn't time how long I left that on there, but perfect amount of time uh, for this to get, like it's just cool enough that I can hold it with this thick leather glove, and just cool enough to where I can uh, eat it, so, so I'm not sure if you can see the steam rolling off of there, but that is, not, that is a method I would use again, like I wouldn't want to rely on it to boil water uh, for a meal it'd be fine to uh you know get some water really hot for a cup of tea cup of coffee but i just really like those bcb fold out stoves for like the durability and the form factor because it kind of does a good job with that back plate that you can put on it of shielding the wind if it is windy so if that was a uh converted to an alcohol burner which is really easy to do and i'm still going to use my titanium ones i just got to get a windbreak for them because i've been out so many times here lately where it's been windy and just made using them a pain it sounds like the wind might actually be starting to get back up here in a minute so i might have timed it just right i'll eat this and i'll get back with y'all whenever it's time to hit hay
Oh, alrighty, so I don't know if you can see it, but I took one of my rope rollers. I got my bag hung up in the tree that the uh, the upper hammock strap is attached to. So now it's got to unlace our boots and get situated. Another thing that's good about this bag is it zips all the way down. I could actually even unzip just the foot area and, you know, sleep with my boots sticking out the bottom. Which is very tempting to do. I don't know how easy it would be. Because that would just prevent me from potentially having to use my electric hand warmer to keep my feet warm. So we might actually do that. Because we can zip it up pretty close. So we'll try that. Worst comes to worst. You know, we'll just take our boots off. And so at the bottom where it's been really dry and windy. There's not a lot of crap. Like the ground's not wet. Um, where this thing is actually maintaining its shape, like the hammock is maintaining its shape, it's pretty easy to uh, maneuver in and out. I can just take and tighten that around my boot area. I don't think I have to worry about anything crawling up down there. There we go, and just like that, we are nice and zipped in and cozy. So first time using this as a hammock and then using this sleeping bag in a hammock that went very well so yeah guys I'm I gotta say I mean with this sleeping pad because it also kind of helps spread the hammock a bit this is a very very nice lay and very comfortable so far because I'm pretty flat like I'm way flatter um, I make, I'm pretty much completely flat, so if you're, uh, somebody that doesn't typically like, you know, like the sag that some hammocks have, then, uh, this might be a good fit, so. Anyways, I will, uh, talk to you guys in the morning and let you know how this thing, uh, plays out. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> oh, last night was a very, very comfortable night's sleep. Uh, this sleeping pad and this hammock configuration is really comfortable <clears throat> uh, if you've never tried one of uh like don't like i ain't talking about the the blue foam mat blue foam mats that you see at walmart or just the uh, regular iso mats because if i can find it <clears throat> if i can find the link to uh to this one um i'll definitely make sure i put it in the description because these like whatever this material is it might be just a different uh type of iso mat i'm not sure but it is just really really nice uh for sleeping in hammocks because it does it did not move around on me at all uh the sleeping bag did shift a bit and that sun is just absolutely going right into my looking balls right now <clears throat> but yeah after i uh first laid down last night i had to unzip my uh this fleece because it was just too warm and i wanted to try to keep my uh a sleeping bag zipped up for the most part and uh 
now that that sun has come up and is shining directly on my uh like directly on me it's uh, warming up pretty quick but yeah i'm uh, really looking forward to trying out some different configurations and some different uh some different ideas that i have with uh this setup but you know i got a lot of overnighters and stuff planned and some uh some other new gear and all that we're going to be trying out very very soon <clears throat> The hammock configuration works very well you know once again if you think this is a cool concept i'll make sure to uh, throw a link to the uh, kickstarter down in the video description along with links to uh, all the other gear that i use if you're uh, interested so you can check that out but i'm gonna get this uh, down and uh, packed up and then pack out so as always really appreciate you taking time to watch the video please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share the channel with your friends family Anybody that enjoys good old outdoor <clears throat> activities, hit me up in that comment section. And uh, until the next one, guys, adios. <clears throat>